Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel or if you guys are new here for the first time, then hello, welcome. In today's video, we are going to be DIYing some porch signs. There's going to be three different styles in today's video. This DIY is extremely simple and affordable. Each sign costs under $15. The first thing that we're going to do is get our wood. I got mine from Lowe's that was already pre-cut and sanded, which is perfect for DIYs like this. Next, I'm just going to print out some letters on my computer on Microsoft Word. If you guys are interested in the exact font and size that I used, just let me know in the comments down below and I can go back and look. I also printed off some of these cute designs as well to put at the top and bottom of the first design we are doing. Next, we are just going to take the board outside and start painting it. This first one that I am doing, I am just taking some white acrylic paint and I'm just going to be going over with about two coats on each side. You wanna make sure that you're obviously getting the sides in the top of the board as well. Later on in the video, you will see us staining the other two boards. I didn't film staining the second one, but we did a total of three front porch signs and we stained two of them and painted one. The great thing about these DIY porch signs is that you can customize them to exactly how you want them. So to match your style or your house colors, I absolutely love the way that all of them turned out. I made two of them for me and my mom also made one for her front porch and we're really happy with how all of them turned out. There was definitely a lot of trial and error, let me just say that. We learned a ton in the three that we made and by the third one, I feel like I actually got the hang of things and how to properly do things. So now we're moving on to staining the second and third boards. I did get this stain from Lowe's and again, if you guys are interested in the exact color of stain that we used, I will try to link everything in the description box down below for you guys. We also got these really nice sponges from Lowe's and this made staining so much easier. This is actually the very first time I've ever stained anything in my life. So that was definitely very interesting, but we really loved the color of it. Now moving on to the actual lettering on the board, I'm going to cut out all of the letters as you can see me doing here to create my own stencils. Obviously, if you can find stencils or if you have a Cricut or something like that, I'm sure you can make your own, but I just went ahead and did this because this was the most inexpensive way to do this DIY. So if you are looking for something inexpensive, I highly recommend this one. Next, I'm just going to be measuring the letters from side to side and also in between the letters, so from top to bottom. This didn't take very long, but I wanted to make sure that the spacing was even on both sides so that nothing looked funky. Before I had the idea of creating stencils myself, I was actually just going to trace over the letters with a ballpoint pen and press down fairly hard so that I could go ahead and just trace the letters and then go through and paint them myself by hand. I did decide against this just because I knew it was gonna take too much time, but I do use that process when doing the top and bottom design on my board. So once the lettering has dried, I'm going to go ahead and take off the stencils that I used. Now, this was definitely a little messy because I used a normal paintbrush. By the third board that I created, I actually used one of these sponge paintbrushes that had the straight edge, and that worked so much better. It was really easy for me to go back in with white and just kind of clean up the edges that I did mess up. So as you can see here, I'm just tracing over this design that I wanted to put on the top and bottom, and then I'm going to go in and hand paint this. I did use a paint pen, and this was such a lifesaver. Paint pens are my absolute favorite, especially for this DIY, because you can really get precise. The paint pens that I used, I actually just picked up from Walmart. They were super inexpensive, and they have a ton of different colors. I did print off the design that I'm using for the top and the bottom of this board off of Google. 
I highly recommend if you are doing a DIY like this to go onto Google and search any design that you're wanting. It's very simple and inexpensive so you don't have to get any stencils or anything like that. This is what my board was looking like before I go ahead and put the clear glaze on top of it. This is the clear glaze that I am using. This is actually for stained wood, but I went ahead and asked one of my friends that has worked with wood before and she said this would be perfectly fine. You just wanna make sure that you're putting something on it to kind of seal the wood, especially if you're going to be putting this outside, which I am. With all of the elements, with it being outside, you wanna make sure that the wood doesn't warp or anything like that. I am still going to try and bring the sign in every time that it rains, and especially in the winter time, I will probably just go ahead and bring this sign inside. But for the summertime, this is going to be nice to have outside. You just want to make sure to put some type of top coat onto it. So this is how the first sign came out. This is the current sign that I have out in my front porch area. I really love the way that it turned out and I feel like it really goes with my whole front porch makeover with the white and black. Now moving on to my mom's front porch sign. She is just going to put welcome on her sign and then we are going to put some twine at the top of it and wrap it around the first few inches. I really like the way that hers turned out as well. I love the twine idea. I had seen that all over Pinterest. So I went ahead and tried it with hers and she really liked it. This DIY is definitely time consuming, but if you need something to pass time with, this is perfect. So this is how the second front porch sign that we made came out. This is the one that will be staying at my mom's house. I really love the twine on the top. I definitely will be doing this when I create more front porch signs. I've seen a lot of them with really cute bows on the top as well and wreaths. So I will definitely keep getting creative the more signs that I make. Moving on to the last sign we are going to make, I decided to put Hey There Y'all on this one and I really love the way that it turned out. This one is definitely my favorite. I will be switching my two signs that I made out on my front porch because I love both of them. So as you can see, I have already done the hello and there and I'm just going to start on the y'all at the bottom. I already have it outlined and this is the paint pen that I'm going to be using. I wanted to show you guys on camera. If you guys are interested, you can go ahead and take a screenshot. Like I said, I did get this at Walmart and this is the exact acrylic paint that I got from Hobby Lobby. So here you can see me just using my paint pen to fill in the y'all at the bottom. I really love the way that this lettering turned out. Like I said earlier in the video, I just went ahead and typed in on Google, y'all cursive handwriting, and this popped up along with the hello that I used at the top of the sign. This was so easy. All I did was just look through the Google images and went ahead and printed these out and then simply used a pen like I did earlier and traced them out and then used my paint pen to go ahead and fill them in. And for the final porch sign, I absolutely love the way that it turned out. You will have to let me know which sign was your favorite, number one, two, or three, in the comments down below. I had so much fun doing these DIYs, especially with my mom and my little niece. It was such great time to spend with them. If you guys did like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to my channel down below if you aren't already and following me over on Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye, stay marvelous.